Edmonton, the city of champions. Average winter temperature, cold. It's home to Oilers, Eskimos, and some pretty awesome video games. Edmonton was also home to Tobin Manthorpe. Okay, we do get snow, occasionally. For 10 years, he worked for award-winning video game developer BioWare as an animator. Now, most of you may not have heard of Baldur's Gate or Dragon Age, but gamers will be familiar with his work on these critically acclaimed titles. Of course. Then, four years ago, Tobin had had enough of BioWare. The company had grown from 30 to 400 employees, too large and too impersonal for his liking. I decided that uh, I'd better go see what the rest of the world is like, and Victoria is a great place to be. And it didn't take Tobin long to start making his mark on the South Island. He founded Cedar Hill Games, becoming his own boss and the author of his own destiny. Before long, he discovered that Victoria's technology sector has more to offer than meets the eye. There is a very, very good uh, computer science program at, the, uh, at UVic, and, um, and I think it's, uh, it's putting out some really great people. That's when Tobin met his new business partner, programmer Sound Sang. Between the two of them, it only took four months to release their first game, Pistols at Dawn, for the iPhone. Story is really a very big part of gaming. If you really want to get people involved in your game, then, uh, then just commit them to a story, get them involved in character um, relationships. Cedar Hill Games is just one example of Victoria's vibrant tech industry, an industry you might not realize is ranked number one on the South Island outperforming even tourism and education in revenues and employing upwards of 13,000 people. The tech sector in Victoria is very healthy and it's probably uh, realized by having a look at the tech park. We're 100% occupied. There's 36 tech companies working here. Dale Gunn runs the Vancouver Island Technology Park, founded 10 years ago. In 2005, the University of Victoria bought in in a big way, producing a winning combination. One of the most important ingredients about driving the technology industry is having that access to talent and human capital. And Victoria is blessed by the post-secondary educational institutions and the college system to provide that talent that's critical for growing those companies. Back at Cedar Hill Games, Tobin is already mapping out the future for his company. I see uh, Cedar Hill Games growing up to be um, perhaps a 10-person company where uh, we continue to create um, story-driven games. You know I'll fight if needs be. I'm just not convinced that... Tobin says he'd always thought about moving to Victoria. Now that he's here, he has access to not just our strong tech sector, but he's only a hop, skip and a jump away from the hotbeds of technology of Vancouver and Seattle. Plus, being able to walk to work in the winter? Priceless. In Victoria, for The Daily, I'm Justin Martin. Producing over 9,000 hours of local programming every year. This is Shaw TV, your local voice.